Oh, something's setting, so I'm gonna take the flush pot down and clean her up quick. Dump all this stuff out. One thing I like about these saddlebags is they just attach by sliding underneath my top box. Like that. They're super easy to remove. If I need to remove them, like today, I'm not going to bother washing my saddlebags. I'll just pick them up when I get back. Yeah, that's all. I'll wash you. Great lock, actually. The, uh, the Renegade. Get all the grime off of you. No. <laughs> I guess it helps if I actually turn around, don't it? This light is waterproof, but let's just take her off to be on the safe side. Because you're in the backyard playing with chickens. What? What, buddy? What? What happened to Citrine? <sighs> okay, just give me a second, okay? She was fine yesterday. So whose feathers are those? I just want to pause here for a moment to give you some background and context. We've grown these chickens from eggs. They are livestock. We do use them as a food source. But we wanted to teach our kids that everything that they eat has both energy, a life, and a soul. And it takes a lot of work to procure food of any sort. We want to teach them the importance of that and let them make the choices they want to make in life about what kind of food they want to be eating. Um, Logan's really taken to the chickens. He's played with them. He's grown up with them. He's raised them um, more than any one of us. He's really taken to them. And this was a bit hard on him. Thanks, guys. <sighs> Oh no. Dang it. We just let him out for one day. Oh, girls. Find the other chickens right now. Okay. Oh no. Oh, poor girl. I don't know if she was hiding under here or if whatever got her. Dragged her under here. Doesn't look like there was much of a struggle down here. I think it was probably a cat. Cats don't normally bug our chickens, though. Okay, look out, buddy. Yeah, she's cold. She's been here for a while. Oh. Dang it. Yeah, no, that's a... Uh, that's going to be a hawker. No. Not a cat. Dang it. Oh, I'm sorry, Citrine. Man. Okay, one more coming, Logan. 
Well, cause I'm trying to figure out where, where they were killed, buddy, so I can see if there's any evidence of what killed them, if it was a, what animal killed her. Does it? Does she have any injuries on her that you could see? Uh, no. I, I, at least they're like sitting down like this. Okay, could you pet her and see if she has anything? Well, our chickens normally run free in our yard all summer, but we've had a couple red tail hawks and great horn owls. Um, take a number of our birds in the last bits. We've been keeping them cooped up. It must have happened again. Tacked her here. She probably ran along the fence, hid under the chairs, got the kill there, and then dragged her over here, under there to eat her. I'm assuming. Well, this isn't one of our chicken feathers. So, I'll look that up, find out what kind of bird it was. This isn't one of our chicken feathers, so this probably came from whatever killed her. I think those white feathers are probably part of it here. I think that's a snowy owl. Got it? Nope, my fingers are there. Yeah, just in case you gotta grab anything. Alright, let's get this done. I'm gonna clean this up or it'll just keep coming back. Um, that's a hard choice, man, because it's only doing what it's meant to do. If it ends up taking all my chickens, though, I'm going to be a little bit friggin' miffed. Like, it's a little different when you got something like that, the weasel that Sam's dealing with, because that weasel's just killing for the sake of killing and killing for fun. And in my opinion, that's fair game. But the owl's killing to eat, to live. The owl doesn't eat vegetables, it eats meat. And that's how it survives. And it's hard for it to survive in the winter. So, I don't feel bad. Oh man, poor Citrine. Look at that damage. Yeah, well, she put up a fight though. Clearly, she took some chunks out of that owl. Yeah. Sucks. Poor girl. I think she died really quick though over there. It's a good thing about being killed by a predator is I have a couple millennia of practice of how to kill things and I generally do a swift job of it so they don't get hurt. These don't look like chicken feathers. They're so stringy. To me that looks like an owl feather. Banding. See the banding on these? Yeah. Chickens don't get that. Like, that's a predator thing, right? So that's to make them mesh in with the, uh, and how light these are, right? These don't, I don't know, man. I'd have to check some of her feathers, but these don't look like her feathers. Barrier. The ground's not frozen yet. Last couple times this happened, the ground was frozen. We couldn't do nothing about it. Yeah, probably bury her by the compost. She'll turn into our vegetable garden. Everyone ends up as fertilizer at some point, bud. All the nutrients in you goes into the bugs in the ground, turns into plants. <laughs> Maybe, if there's enough of you that die in one spot, then yeah. Uh... Well, I wanted to wash my bike, but that's clearly not going to happen tonight, so... It's not your fault. It's not your fault. That's okay, I didn't put them in either. I really didn't think it was going to be a problem for one night. Damn, 